Hey, what's up, fight fans? It's your boy, Ego. And I come to you to give my predictions on the upcoming Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. and Sergio Martinez bout this Saturday HBO pay-per-view. Basically, with this fight, what I see is Sergio Martinez being victorious. And here's why. I feel Sergio Martinez, one, has fought higher opposition than Chavez Jr. And basically, his experience in the ring, his ring generalship, his speed, um, and his footwork, I think is going to be too much for Chavez Jr. Um, not to take anything away from Chavez Jr., I feel he's improving. I mean, a year ago, you would never even want to see the outcome of a Sergio Martinez Chavez Jr. fight. But um, he's definitely worked his way up, beat the people who are put in front of him. But I don't think the people Chavez Jr. has beat is anywhere near world-class fighters or anywhere near uh, Sergio Martinez level. I think to this point, uh, Chavez Jr.'s biggest victory or his toughest challenge would be Andy Lee. And as you know, Andy Lee is a European fighter. And <clears throat> I still wouldn't consider Andy Lee a world-class dominant athlete. I mean, so, and <clears throat> aside from that, a lot of people Chavez Jr. has fought has been, you know, B and C class fighters. Um, so I definitely think Sergio Martinez is his toughest opponent, uh, like without a doubt. Um, I don't know if you guys seen the 24-7. Um, HBO basically depicted Chavez. They made him look lazy again, like he's sl like slacking on his training. Um, they had Freddie Roach. He had been waiting to do mid work. Uh, for an hour, and then Chavez associate called, and that whole thing. Um, I don't know how much of that staged and how much of that propaganda just to like create an interest and um, I don't know build hype for the fight. Um, I would hope Chavez Jr. isn't taking Sergio Martinez lightly because again, this is the biggest fight of his career. Um, Fantastico. <laughs> Um, aside from that, like I said, I just see Sergio Martinez being victorious. I don't know if he, I know we all know Sergio Martinez has KO power. I don't know if he'll end up knocking, uh, Chavez Jr. out just based on the sheer size and Chavez Jr. has proven that he has his father's chin. Um, the only difference is Chavez Jr. has proven he has a chin, but these fighters weren't elite fighters in my opinion. So we'll see. Um, one thing I will say is if Sergio Martinez doesn't either A, KO Chavez Jr., or B, just dominate and win decisively, I don't see the decision going in his favor. If it's a close fight that could go any either way, I mean, I definitely don't see them giving it to Sergio Martinez. One, Chavez Jr. is a younger fighter, top ranks, trying to promote, and he has his father's namesake, and <clears throat> they're basically trying to create a legacy for him, so... Unless Sergio Martinez either knocks him out or or <clears throat> dominates him to the point where it's without a shadow of a doubt, um, that's the only way I see him getting a decision. So, um, all in all, that's my take. His Sergio's ring generalship, his speed, his athletic ability, and just the fact that he has the he's seasoned and he's fought higher opposition. Um, I see it being a lot like the Kelly Pavlik fight in the sense of Kelly Pavlik and Chavez Jr. are both fighters who like to come forward with pressure and um and they're big and they're taller and they hit hard <clears throat> but the only difference is i think chavez jr has probably better body work than uh kelly pavlik he he does he does work the body but with with sergio martinez he has an unorthodox style of fight he fights with his arms low and he he fights kind of in the same vein as, as a Roy Jones Jr. where he relies heavily on reflex. So I don't know how how effective his body shots would be. Another thing I noticed about Chavez Jr. is he doesn't really establish a jab. He uses his sheer size and, and brute strength and kind of just forces his way in as opposed to setting up stuff with a jab and, and then coming forward. So with a person like Sergio Martinez, who is crafty and elusive, uh, not having a jab, I don't know exactly how that would pan out. So, again, I think Sergio Martinez takes this one, either by KO or a convincing victory. Um, subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. But don't just comment and say, oh, Sergio sucks or Chavez Jr. sucks. Let me know what you think or why you think that. 
and who you're going for and that kind of thing. Other than that, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to, a, I mean, hopefully a, a good competitive fight, and we'll get to see the best from both fighters. So other than that, let me know what you think. I'll see y'all on fight night. Peace. The champ is here!